So welcome to my first stream. I'm Lore Seeker Dade of the Lore Seekers. Um, I'm going to go over some add-ons that I have. Um, hopefully this will be good information for you. This is um, by no means um, what you should use or um, the best ones to use, but just the ones that I prefer. Um, I'm going to switch over to my screen right now. Uh, I'm not working off two screens right now, so I'm kind of flipping between them both. So bear with me as I get used to doing this. Um, so right now, this is the basic um, ESO screen. There's nothing added to it. No add-ons, no nothing. Um, see the map, got your journal, inventory, just all that normal stuff that comes with the game. Um, so add-ons that I have, you can see that I have tons of them. I'm going to go through a few of them tonight, and I'll go through some more at another time. Uh, the first one I really want to cover is Votan's minimap. Um, if I want to enable this right now, you'll notice, and you'll, and when if you go to, um, you can install these add-ons with Minion. It's a little application you can install on your computer. Makes it very easy. Um, I'm not going into how to install that right now. I'm just going into a few of the add-ons. Uh, but you'll see after you install it, there's some required um, dependencies that you have to install. I already have those installed. So the lib Harvon's add-on settings um, right there. So I enable that. And then the other one is lib async. It's just right there. I enable that. And now I can enable Votan's minimap and reload my UI. So there you go. But as you can see, it's kind of um, there behind the quest log and everything. You can move it around all you want. Um, I just hit slash on my keyboard, allow you to get a cursor and move it around. Now there's a couple cool things that I like about this mini map. Um, it has a clock on it, um, which I think is cool. It's got the uh, real, um, real time, that whatever time zone you're in, and then the game time which is 9.30 a.m. in uh, Tamriel right now. Um, to adjust that, you can go to Settings, and then to Add-ons, and you see Votan's Minimap. And there are a lot of things you can do. Um, the Minimap on, um, you can zoom it in. There is a lot of options. Um, you can do a border style, whatever the font is, the color, whatever it's kind of cool right so um, another add-on that I like to put onto here is sky shards that's one that everybody needs as you can see there's a lot of dependencies so I'll go on and add those custom map pins Lib add on menu 2.0, lib map ping. Lib GPS, which also has its add-ons, so that they're, they're kind of embedded. It can get a little confusing sometimes. But there's lib debug logger and lib chat message. It's nice because it, it lets you know when you've enabled them and it shows you what you need. What else do I need for that? Lib map pins 1.0. So I've got everything I need for sky shards. Reload the UI. Now when I bring up the map, you'll see that sky shards are on here. It shows all the sky shards for any area, which is nice. Um, I've collected a lot of them, but there's green shade showing those sky shards. They're white if you've already collected them. Uh, they'll be black if you don't have them. 
but it shows you exactly where they're all located. That's pretty basic. Um, another one to add to that is lore books. And then to add that to my map, I just need lib custom menu. Throw that on there. I can add lore books, then reload my UI. Bring up the map again, and let's see if we can see some lore books. Um, to add filters. See, so has unknown lore books and collected lore books. If you put on the collected ones, see, I've already got all these collected, but there they are. They just appeared on the map of all the lore books in any zone that works on. So that is very, very useful. Um, the eidetic books also will appear. And now going back to add-ons. One last one that I like to add is called Lost Treasure. Now Lost Treasure, um, everybody gets those treasure maps. Um, and they're for surveys or what else, whatever, and treasures as well, both of them. So, need to add a couple more. And reload. Oh, I think I went too soon there. I have to actually click on the Lost Treasure one also to add that. There you go, now lost treasure, reload. So, I'm gonna go to my inventory. I better go find a zombie, oops, sorry. So I can go get any treasure maps I have. I don't carry them around with me because I have tons of them. And I know I don't have any on this character right now. So I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to go to Azabi, the banker, and I'm going to pull out, how about that, banker eye. Now I can look at my map, go to location of banker eye, and there they are, right there. But that's the location of those alchemist surveys that I just picked up. If they're in your inventory, it'll put a red X exactly where to go. Um, that saves you the trouble of doing this. where it just kind of gives you that map and you kind of like fumble around. So, um, as you can see, that's a lot more useful. So that was just quick and easy. Um, that was three easy add-ons to put on there that'll greatly help your adventuring in Tamriel or Nern on the greater. Um, I'm going to go into the next time, um, I'm going to go into Bandits, which is a huge user interface that adds a lot of components. Um, I'll go into a couple of these little other ones more specifically for um, guild trading. Um, there's fisher, fishermen add-ons, um, Lots of other things that you can add that really help you with your game. The bag space indicator, I'll show you that one really fast. Uh, very simple and very useful. Um, there really weren't any dependencies. You reload the UI. And as you can see, up here in the right side, it's got how much gold I have on this character, uh, my inventory space, and my bank space just right there at all times. So if you're always having trouble with inventory, it's right there as a reminder at all times. Um, 
I think that's really all I want to get into tonight. It was quick and easy. Uh, this is my first stream, so I'm kind of fumbling around with the interface and everything. I already know I need two screens. So um, I thank you for you guys for showing up. I am going to, this has been recorded, so I'm going to put that out there for everybody to see that hasn't been here. Um, <laughs> thanks, Matt. No, I'm not rich. Just, uh, you know how it goes. Um, anyway, so <laughs> if anybody has any questions, go ahead and paste them because I'm back over here on this side. Um, any questions about those add-ons that I just went over, uh, go ahead. Well, thank you. Thank you. I know they're pretty simple, um, but I, I intend to get more in-depth with everything. And uh, there will be another stream coming up um, with HyperPixie joining me that's going to delve into our community and a little bit of lore and a lot of good times. So until next time, take care, everybody, and I will see you.